welcome to Recreationally Yours. I'm Janice Dive, the Center Director for the City of Florissant, and with me? I'm Kelly Snyder. I'm the Recreation Specialist here with the City of Florissant. Ke Kelly, we're out here today um, at Bangor Pool. Um, this is our really busy time of the year, so we're going to, in this segment, we're going to focus on a lot of pool information, a lot of camps and things that are going on. Um, so tell us a little bit about who you're going to be interviewing today. Um, we're going to talk to Lisa Welsh. She's a pool manager at the Coke Park Family Aquatic Center. We're also going to be talking to Nicola Batisto, who is our pool manager here at Bangard Pool. Um, they're going to give us a little water safety information because May is Water Safety Month, so we want to focus on that, as well as our fees change and dates and times the pools will be opening and closing. So looking forward to it. Right, so stay tuned for the next segment. Joining me now is Nicola Batisto, pool manager here at our Bangard Park Pool right off New Florissant Road. Um, Welcome. How are you Thank today? You. I'm great. How are you? Yeah. Tell us a little about Bangert and what's going to happen this year. I know we're going to open a little bit earlier than usual and uh, tell me if the hours are changing or anything. Sure. Yeah. Bangert is going to be opening actually a Memorial weekend. We switched with Coke for this summer and we're really excited. It gives us more pool time. Um, tell us a little about what's features here at Bangert Pool so like anyone new to the area can check it out. Oh sure, we have our splash pads over here for more like infant and toddlers so that would be more just splash pads they have jets that come out and they're really fun people like to sit in them play in them tan in them <laughs> we have our playground uh, which has a little slide so for those who aren't 48 inches aren't, aren't able to use our actual slide we have a little slide on our playground as well as a tunnel okay uh, on our big slide it, you have to be 48 inches it's got about three loops and it goes into about three and a half feet of water uh, we have two little slides which are actually small, but people think that they're for small children, but they're for big children. Um, and that is in the five foot area. A little then, more like drop slides, kind of like a speed drop. Sure, yes. And then we actually have a low dive and a high dive. And we have lap lanes. Perfect. Okay, how deep is our pool here, Banger? Oh, anywhere from zero feet to 12 and a half feet. Perfect, okay. So we talked a lot about swimming and lap swimming. Do we have any like lessons going on here or anything else this summer? Sure, uh, we have our public swim lessons, which are on Mondays and Wednesdays. We actually have two sh two sessions. One would be from 10:10 to 10:45. The second session would be t from 10:50 to 11:25, and those would be for residents $32 and for non-residents $43. And we have a session in June and a session in July. So if you want to get your kids, come out here. Those are our uh, uh, youth swim lessons, and we have awesome lifeguards that run those, and we're looking for lifeguards. So if you're above 16 and water something that you fancy, come on out and join <laughs> us. Uh, you can sign up for youth and adult swim lessons at JFK or at the James J. Egan Center at any time. Our adult, lap, our adult swim lessons are on Wednesday nights. Perfect. So yeah, as of, like she said, um, as of right now, all of our lessons are available to register at the James J. Egan Center or the JFK Community Center. Um, you can stop by there or you can call as well. Um, thank you, Nicole. Um, so you. this month is May, it's Water Safety Month. So I wanted to take a little break sure. and give all of our viewers time to think about some water safety topics that they probably don't think about. So give me some tipple hints so we can let our viewers know like what's the main things when we're talking about water safety for this summer. Sure, when we talk about water safety, I would say our number one concern is swimming with a buddy. Always, always swim with a buddy. Even the most experienced swimmers like myself, I still don't go to the pool by myself. I don't go to a lake by myself, just to ensure everyone's safety. We also have our life jackets, which my favorite saying is, don't just pack it, wear your jacket. And you can use a life jacket at any of our outdoor pools, indoor pools, and also at the lake. So we have a life jacket here today. So you'll notice it's US Coast Guard approved, which is the only thing we'll have here at the pools, okay? So if you are wearing, if your child does come with arm floaties or anything else, we're gonna suggest that you put on US Coast Guard approved life jackets for them, okay? Um, just like anything, pretty simple to put on and we just wanna demonstrate for you. You're gonna put it over that head, okay? Okay, we're gonna see it tight there. You're tech this strap right around. You're gonna wrap around that entire body in the back, okay? and you're going to clip it tight. You're going to pull this as tight as you can to ensure safety. Make sure it's around their neck, okay? And then you're going to tie this right here in a perfect little loop. And there she goes, so she can float. And it's perfect. You start a coop. 
So we will at each pool have lifeguards to, to check out if you don't, lifeguards, life vests, <laughs> um, for checkout for any of you guys to use, okay? So don't feel like you have to go get one. We do have them at any of our pools, but we do um, require them. So um, a question we didn't ask earlier, Nicola, was what about infants? Um, you know, do they wear swim diapers or do we sell them or do we need them? Oh yes, we do sell swim diapers. We suggest that everyone wear a swim diaper. The regular diapers just fill up with water and they're really uncomfortable for the child. So we make sure that the swim diapers are on at all times just for pool cleanliness. And also, Kelly, about the life jacket. Although we do supply life jackets, you cannot wear your life jacket off of the diving board. So or this year, or the slide. So we have a really fun rule this year that we made up. And that is that everyone is going to be swim tested to go off the diving boards. Doesn't matter if you're three years old or 40 years old, we want to ensure that everyone is completely safe at this pool. So we made sure that we're going to swim test every single patron. You know, not even talking about water safety, sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important. You know, you can go out just outside at the park and end up getting a terrible sunburn. So make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us today, Nicola. Thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. Hi, joining me now is Lisa Welch, our pool manager at our Coke Park Family Aquatic Center. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Um, so tell us a little about Coke, and I know there's some new fees that are going on with all of our pools this year, so let's hear about that. Yeah, um, this year actually our resident fees for children ages 4 to 17 is $3. Uh, for non-residents, that same age is going to be $8. Anyone that's 3 and under is always going to be free. Um, when it comes to adults, they are going to be $4 for a resident and $10 for a non-resident. Um, all seniors are $3 resident and $8 non-resident. So what is our senior rate? Like, how old is the senior that we like? Uh, the senior rate in includes ages 60 and older. Okay, perfect. And then, um, so Coke is opening a little bit later this year. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. And then I know there's an hour change too, yes. right? Okay. This year we are actually opening June 4th that weekend. And our hours are from 12 to 6, Monday through Friday. Okay. And they are also 12 to 7 on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so a little bit later in the weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So tell us a little about Coke and what it's going to offer to our new residents here, anyone new to this, they want to try out our pool? Uh, this year at the pool, we actually will not be having the two w big slides this year. We had to take them down, but we also have our otter slides still. We have the SES equipment for younger kids. We have the zero depth entry, which people lay on the beach. Um, we also have the biggest part is the lazy river, uh, which is very fun. You just get in the tube and float around as long as you want. Um, Do we have any special rules for the Lazy River height requirements? The Lazy River, the height requirement, to have your own tube by yourself, you have to be at least 48 inches. Um, to be on the tube on the river by yourself, you have to be at least nine, nine years old. Um, otherwise, you have to be attached with an adult. Um, if you're under 48 inches, you have to be in a tube with the adult that you're on the river with, which also has to be 18 and, 18 and over. Okay. Um, and then... Otherwise, we might we still have double tubes this year. Yeah. Uh, we'll also be having double tubes this year, which is a one tube for an adult and then a closed section for a child that's under 48 inches to sit in. Um, okay. And that's basically the rules for that. Um, so I know we have a special, couple special events going on at Coke this year. We have mm -hmm. two, like one fitness class and then like a baby toddler class. You want to talk about that fitness class for me? Yeah. This year we have River Warriors, which is Mondays and Wednesdays. We have a morning class at 10, 15 okay. and a evening class at six o'clock, which is where we close the river for about an hour. And it's like a water resistance class, which anyone from 18 and older can join. Um, and basically you just kind of walk against the current in the river and there'll be a guide that gives you different exercises and cardio workouts. Um, one main thing we always tell people is to bring water shoes because it can get kind of slick and it's hard to walk, especially if you're walking against the current. It's pretty tough, but oh. it's really fun. Everyone always enjoys it. It's a good but. idea. Um, so yeah, get it, we, River Warriors is now up for registration at either one of our centers. We mm -hmm. can look at the JFK Center for registration, which is right there next to Coke Park, or you can hit up the, JJ Egan, the James J. Egan Center mm -hmm. to register for that class as well. Um, I know we have Splash and Play, which is just a drop-in class, right? So tell mm -hmm. us a little about what Splash and Play consists of and what our age group is. Splash and Play is for in the mornings um, on Mondays and Wednesdays from about 10, 15 to 11 before we open. And it's for parents and children six and under, just okay. if they want to get some time in the pool before it gets too busy. Um, it's just a daily admission fee and you just come in at that time. And then when you leave, we you can leave and hang out in the front until we open or get a stamp and come back. You don't have to pay again if you're there at Splash and Play and then you want to leave and come back. So, so it's really cool. is everything open for Splash and Pay? 
Yeah. Uh, the only thing for Splash and Play is the main activity pool and like the SES area, everywhere that the little kids would be. Once it gets to the deep end, we close it off and there's a lifeguard that's what making sure no one goes past it. Okay, but. perfect. Okay, that sounds great. Um, I know we always have our huge Splish Splash Summer Bash mm -hmm. for our middle schoolers. So tell us a little yes. about that. Okay, so Splish Splash Summer Bash is actually Friday, July 8th this year. It's from 6.30 to 9, and um, the pool actually closes at 5 for that. But it's for 5th to 8th graders, and it's just a night we have a DJ, we have games, you know, the pool's all open, everything. It's a really fun night. Um, we just, have our annual Twinkie contest eating. Yeah, we have eating. a Twinkie eating contest, so that's It's fun. a major hit. Yes, okay, it it's is. It's a major hit. Water balloon toss, you know, there's a race on the, li on the lily pads, which those are their extra attraction. Um, yeah, it's a really fun night, and the kids always enjoy it. One more time, what day is Splash Splash Splash? It's Friday, July 8th from 6.30 to 9. Perfect. So if you want any more information, just call one of our centers, the JFK Community Center or the James J. Egan Center, or check us out online at www.fluorescentmo.com. One of the big components of the pool this year um, and every year, and at both of our outdoor pools and our indoor pools, is you have to wear proper swimwear at all times um, to enter our pools. Um, we will ask you to leave if you do not have proper swimwear on. Um, are, you're welcome to go get proper swimwear and come back as well and get a stamp at our pool. Um, we have to wear proper swimwear. Um, it's part of St. Louis County Health Code, um, keeping our water quality safe. Um, proper swimwear is going to look like trunks for men. It has the netting in them, okay? Um, any color, they have to be this material and that swimsuit material. We ask that it's all swimsuit material because this swimsuit material um, doesn't keep detergent in them when you wash them. Um, doesn't keep detergent like regular clothes would. Um, you know, regular clothes do have fecal matter on them as well as bacteria. That's why we do ask anybody and everybody that comes in the pool must rinse off before they get in our pool, okay? So we're also looking at female um, correct swimwear, which is gonna be the same type of, you know, material bottoms, and then the lining in it. The lining in it for the top, um, no sports bras. Um, I know a lot of swimsuits do look like sports bras, but we don't allow sports bras. Yes, so um, this looks really similar. But this is a sports bra, and that material is netting and different, okay? So we will not allow this at the pool. As well as every, all those guys that just want to come in from the outside playing, um, and they're just wanting to wear their gym shorts or their basketball shorts, those are 100% not allowed in the pools, okay? So you have to have trunks on. Just remember that, okay? If you have any questions, you get, you're welcome to give any pool a call. Um, and they'll answer any of your questions for you. Okay, so remember, proper swimwear at all times at all of our aquatic facilities here at the outdoor pools as well as the indoor pool at the James J. Egan Center. So Lisa, thank you so much for being on with me today. Is there anything else we need to add that we didn't forget to talk about? Um, one more thing, all the pools are still working, looking for lifeguards. So if you're 16 and older, um, you can go up to the H Human Resources Department, get an application. You can even come to the pool personally and talk to us and let us know that you even want to apply. Um, we're really looking for people. So this is your chance. Um, that's it. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for being on today. You're welcome. Well, Kelly, you guys went over a lot of information. Um, one thing I did want to talk about um, before we move on from the pools is um, last year we started a new program where we have birthday parties out at Coke Park. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so we are continuing this program this year. We're having Coke pool parties. Um, this is for ages 3 to 15. Okay, you'll get 20 admissions to the Aquatic Center as well as 20 hot dogs, 20 sodas, and 20 bags of chips for all your participants, okay? Um, plates, napkins, utensils are not. Um, are not provided. Um, we say no glitter, no confetti, you know what I mean, just balloons, simple decorations if you want to decorate. Um, there will not be refrigeration for your desserts, but you're welcome to bring a cake or anything with a cooler, but do um, our front desk staff as well as our pool management will inspect your cooler to make sure you're not bringing anything else because there is a no food, no drink policy at our pool. Right, I was going to say, because if you didn't have the party package, you weren't, you weren't, you're not allowed to bring it in. You'd have yes. to like leave, leave the park to do it. So what do they do then? If, if I remember right, there, there's a section over by the concession stand that they'll get for, what is it, an hour, an hour and a half that yeah. they, can, they can sit at. So um, it's in the back of the concession stand, which actually is going to be moved this year. Our pool party area is actually going to be uh, down on the main deck in the main activity pool. So you'll be right in the center of things. Um, in your own little area. Um, it's about an hour and a half that you get a time frame. We have two time frames, Saturday and Sundays, from 12.30 to 2 or 2.30 to 4. Right, but they can stay swimming as long as they want. As it's just you're going to have that little area because I do get calls on mm -hmm. that and they're like, so I have to leave at that time? And yeah. we're like, no. Yeah. That's just the time that you'll have that designated area. Correct. Um, so you can only make 
Coke pool party reservations at the James J. Egan Center by calling the Parks and Recreation Administration Office, which their number is 314-839-7670. Right. And that's a good way to find out if it is open, but once you decide on a date, you will have to go over there to sign all the paperwork and sign the contracts and stuff like that. As so. well. And so let's talk about fees. So for our residents, the fee for this package is $175 with a $50 security deposit. And then for our non-residents, this package is $225 with the same $50 security deposit. Okay, great. Yeah, I know we've already had a lot of calls, so I think that's yeah. probably going to be real So it's getting booked up pretty year. fast. And Thanks. we're accepting reservations now. So get your calls in, get your dates booked, okay? Great. So um, as we start talking about the rest of our summer activities, um, I know you're offering a mother-son dance and daddy-daughter dance this year? Right. Um, we've been having this tradition for a couple of years. Last year was the first year we um, allowed the uh, mother-son as well, and that worked out real well. So again, this year we're going to do the father-daughter, mother-son. It is over at the Nature Lodge. So it's just really pretty. We put lights up. Um, they the girls come in their prettiest dresses and the boys were all in their suits and some mm -hmm. one of them came in a tuck so it, it's just a really nice night we have very light refreshments um, we do um, pictures that'll overlook um, the river area so they're real nice pictures so it's it's a great event it's going to be on June 10th from 6 30 to 8 30 so you can register for that now we do need for you to register um, by probably that Friday before so that we can get a total um, so we can get the proper amount of food and beverages. So what is the age range on that? Do we like, you know? That it, um, we, we do anything up to a 12 year old. Okay. By the time they're 12, they're kind of going off on their own. So we do limit it. Um, we, we have had someone as young as two years old oh, um, with their old dad. Um, and we the group that started this, um, most of them aged out last year. So it's a little sad that we said goodbye to some of them last year, but they had been going for about four or five years. So, oh, cool. um, so it'll go all the way up to 12 years old. And then where is the stance located again? Um, it's over at the Nature Lodge. Perfect. And now talking about the Nature Lodge, um, we've kind of together started a program um, called Painting at the Lodge. Can you tell us a little bit about we that? We have. I'm really excited about Painting at the Lodge. So we have, um, you've seen them around town, these painting classes, kind of BYOB painting classes and kind of snacks. Um, we are offering them here with the City of Flores and at our beautiful Nature Lodge. Um, relatively lowly priced for those people. Um, we have a whole series over this summer happening. Um, so we have a, um, we're going to Painting at the Lodge for adults as well so for adults 21 and up please because it is BYOB and you can bring your own snacks. Um, our painting nights are going to be June 25th, um, set, uh, July 15th as well and um, time frame is 7 to 9 p.m. All you have to bring is your own apron or your own paint smock. Okay? Um, snacks, beverages is all on you. Um, the price is $24 for residents and $28 for non-residents. So it's a little bit cheaper than the other ones out there and we're trying to get a nice community thing. Um, we're, we're sponsoring a lot of these as date nights, Friday night date nights, that kind of thing. Um, we're also offering kids paint nights because a lot of places don't do kids paint nights. They only, they only kind of do adults. So I'm kind of really excited to see the kids come in and paint with their parents or just anybody and everybody as a group. Um, yeah, because the kid paint nights are not just for the kids, so it's one that a yeah. parent and a child can go to. We will require if they're under a certain age that the parent at least stays, whether they participate or not. We don't care, but they will need to stay. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things that my daughter had been talking about wanting to do together, um, so um, we're pretty excited about that as well. Good. Did you guys already pick one out? Not yet. We're working on it. So oh, Okay. Okay. So our kids paint nights slash everybody paint nights are going to be July, 7th, July 9th as well as July 16th. Now those are on Saturday mornings from 10 a.m. to noon. And again, all they have to bring is their own snacks, um, if they'd like to bring some beverages and then their own paint smock or apron. We will say with the ones that are more dedicated to the kids, um, this won't be BYOB. Um, you're welcome to bring your water, your juice, your sodas, um, but no alcohol no. will be allowed. And the price on those ones are 18s for residents and then 24 for non residents. So we're still a little bit cheaper than the going rate, so we'll see if we get this program kicked off or not. Um, if you have any questions, give me or Janice a call at either James J. Egan Center or the JFK Community Center. Well, Kelly, we also have a lot of, um, besides our traditional summer playground, which um, is in full, you know, going to be full swing and um, I'm sure totally full. Um, we have a lot of specialty programs that we put on after that, um, such as our British soccer camp that we have every year. I think this is maybe the fifth year that we'll be doing it where we bring in coaches from um, England. Oh, wow, and, okay. Yes, and they stay here. Um, it's a week long. It's from anywhere from ages 3 all the way up to 16. So there'll be different age groups. Um, 
the prices are between $95 and $147, just depending upon what age group you have. But it's a great program. Um, everybody has really loved it. It's grown. I think we started with 10 people the first time, and last year we had over 50. So, wow, okay. And some of the same people that started again that first year are still continuing with us. So Perfect. that kind of talks about the, uh, how, how good the instructors have been. And each year it's a different set. And it's also kind of fun because if you want to host one of the coaches, you're allowed to do that as well, um, which we've done a couple of times. And last year they stayed at um, two different families' houses, and um, which is kind of neat for the kids to kind of see a different yeah. culture. Um, you can take them places if you want. Um, you are required to feed them, though, and, and, and yeah. that's always fun, <laughs> um, learning what they like to eat, which is a little bit different than what we like to do. Um, so that particular program is going to be um, July 25th through the 29th. Um, but we do ask that you register for that online, and if you do that before June 12th, you're going to get a free jersey. And the jerseys are always nice, and the kids love them, and they wear them pretty much every day while they're there. So if that's something you're interested in, I would suggest that you get online um, before June 12th so you can get that free jersey. Um, and if you call up to the Egan Center or the JFK Center, they'll, they'll put you in touch with how, how to um, register for that. So do we have any other specialty camps that are going to happen after Yes, we also have, um, this year we've started a pom-pom camp um, that's going to be a week long as well. Um, it's going to be for those 8 to 12 year olds, just kind of a very introductory pom-pom. Um, so if it's something that you think your child might be interested in the future or okay. talks about wanting to be a pom-pom girl when she gets older, <laughs> um, they'll do a couple, um, they're going to get a t-shirt. Um, they're going to do um, learn a couple of different routines, and then that final day they'll perform those for for their oh, parents. Cute. Okay. So, and that's um, going to be held over at the JFK Community Center, and that's going to be July 25th through the 29th. Okay. Perfect. And then we have a couple other sport camps. Um, we have um, a basketball camp that'll be over at the James J. Egan Center, and that'll be July 18th through the 21st. So we're really kind of keeping those kids busy all the way up through August and in, in the beginning of school time. So if you're interested in any of these programs, again, we just ask that you give us a call. Sweet, yeah, so talking about more um, summer camp series, um, we're actually offering some preschool summer activity times this year. Um, we're calling it our preschool summer fun series. Um, we have five different dates um, that we're gonna have some preschool fun. Um, it's two hours, 9.30 to 11.30. Um, different days. Um, this is parents can stay if they want to or they don't have to. Yeah, we've made it long enough that parents can leave and, and sometimes the kids kind of like when the parents leave. They yeah. get sad for a little bit, but it's always a good introduction um, for the kids to kind of be around other kids, especially um, if, if they're at home with their parents all the time. We, you know, it's kind of nice for those parents to leave and really kind of let the kids yeah. be involved. So we have Bounce House Day, which is going to be at Sunset Park on June 8th. So get the kids out, get them moving, get them jumping in our bounce house, as well as some other fun little games to play with them. Um, all children must be potty trained, so please be aware of that. Um, so what are some other days we have going on? Um, well, I, I know one of the new ones that you started this year is the Mermaid Water Day. So yes. tell us a little bit about that. So um, we're going out to Coke Park um, Family Aquatic Center. We're going to have a little fun out there. Um, so you can play for a little bit in our splash and play area on our SES equipment. Um, Mermaid's going to come. She is going to be in the water with the kids. Okay, she's going to sing a song and she's going to tell a story and she's going to splash with them a little bit. Okay, and then Mermaid's going to leave and then they can play a little bit more as well. Um, we also have Carnival Day, which is something we're going to do at the Egan Center. Yeah, um, we kind of took that kind of from our, during our summer playground, we have a carnival day, mm -hmm. and that's probably the kids' favorite day, um, where we have, you know, just different little activities for them to do, where the um, throwing, you know, bean bags or the tic-tac-toe, so, so any of those little carnival games that you would see at most of those carnivals will have different ones like that for them as well. And then I know we're going to have Bubble Day again, which is a big the hit, hit every that's year. Every, every kid's favorite is Bubble Day. So we have size bubbles between this and then like huge bubbles that everybody can play with. Um, just no, your kids might get wet during this event, so just be aware of that. Um, that'll be at the James J. Egan Center as well. And then one of my favorites that we're doing this year that I'm really excited about is we're gonna have Olympic Day to go along with the Olympics later this summer. Um, it's gonna be on August 10th, so your little preschoolers will participate in Olympic type activities, um, see if they can win gold. You know, we got some running activities as well, gymnastic activities, some relays, so they can do some group events as well. 
Um, the price for these activities is $8 for residents per day or $11 for non-residents per day. We also have the option that if you would like to register for all five, um, that's an option as well as the price. Well, gosh, Kelly, we've talked about a whole lot of activities. Is there anything that we're leaving out that we haven't talked about this summer coming up? Oh, we have the beautiful 18-hole golf course here in the city of Florissant. Right, yeah, we can't and forget about summer. that. Yeah. And we also have the disc golf. Yes, um, as well. Which is over at Dunnigan Park. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of things going on. And Kelly, how would they find out um, if, you know, we've talked about a lot of it, and if they're like me, I need to see it in, write, <laughs> in writing. Yeah. So how, how can they um, get information? So please call any of our community centers, the JFK Community Center or the James J. Egan Center, or check us out online at www.florissantmo.com. Or they can call over to the JFK Community Center, which is 921-4250. They could also call um, over to the James J. Egan Center, which is 921-4466. And we also can't forget to give out the um, golf course phone number. Yes, so if you want to get in touch with the golf course, schedule your tee time, schedule, um, you go out there, the number is 741-7444. Great. Well, we've had a lot of information, and we're glad that you tuned in to Recreationally Yours.